Hi, how's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. So first things first, um, this vlog is being filmed out of order. Um, <laughs> again. So it's not quite the same situation as last time. It wasn't a case of I got halfway through the last video that I was filming and then realized, oh wait, I needed to do my monthly roundup. Um, and I will mention this in the next vlog as well, because obviously it's already been filmed. But I'm a little bit ahead um, on like the vlog filming side of things. So I'm like a couple of weeks ahead. So when I filmed the last one, I didn't realize that one would be going out at the beginning of next month, um, still at the end of the day. I'm filming this at the end of May <laughs> and it will be going up um, at the end of the first week of June. Um, so obviously the video that I originally filmed, um, although could have worked as a monthly roundup, wasn't filmed as a monthly roundup um, and it was very focused and is very focused, I should say on a particular subject rather than being a monthly roundup kind of one. Um, so I've decided to film this monthly roundup one, uh, reverse the order of these videos. So this one will now be 231 and then the one that I filmed last week for the week this is going up will become 132. Um, I'm going to try to avoid mentioning anything in this one that I know that I talk about in that one, although I can't remember exactly what I talked about in that one. As I said, it kind of almost worked as a monthly roundup, but I didn't like do it as a monthly roundup. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that, is, uh, that is very much the kind of the situation that it's in, because uh, obviously it was filmed like mm, pretty much midway through May at the point that it was, well, not even quite mid, yeah kind of midway through May. So I wasn't like I wasn't doing it as a monthly roundup. I was just doing it as a hey, this is, you know, what I've been doing the last couple of weeks. It's kind of fun. Let me just talk about that. Um so I'm gonna leave that for the next one because as I said the next one I know is very much more focused on one particular thing rather than being like a general monthly roundup. So I'm going to say that no, that is a separate thing. That's not a monthly roundup. That is a separate thing. I'm going to basically replace it like shift it a week beyond so um some of the things that get said near the beginning of that one are going to be a little bit out of order and whatever else but <laughs> it's going to happen and it's going to happen purely because i'm a little bit ahead of my recording now so um there will be times where i will have to do the monthly roundup slightly out of order um, and for, like fill a bit later so there's no point doing a monthly roundup until you're like at the end of the month um, because like stuff can still sort of happen. So I tried to film a monthly roundup in the last week of, of whatever month it is um, rather than, you know, filming it like part way through the month and basically being like, oh, yeah, this is, this is what my month has been like when there's still like two weeks left of the month. <laughs> that kind of makes no sense. Um, so, yeah, but. Probably from now on, uh, once I sort of realise it, that a monthly roundup kind of needs to slot into place somewhere, I will film it out of order um, and then sort of jiggle around the the, the vlog numbers um, so that it goes up on the right week for a monthly roundup. And monthly roundups will always go up either on the last uh, Friday of uh, a month or the first Friday of the following month. That's That's my aim with them. There's no point in it being like any further um, out than like the following Friday and it all basically depends on um, how the month sort of plays out. And I did sort of consider having this, but then I, then it would be like two weeks out and I was kind of like, uh, eh, it might have worked except certain things might not have worked quite so well. And certainly once um, so obviously I edited um, the vlog that's going to go up this week because obviously this is being filmed for next week <laughs> uh 
um, I was editing that one this morning and some of the things that I talked about there makes it makes a lot more sense for it to go before this one. That's yeah, that's all I'm sort of. So I'm happy with kind of uh, organising it this way and basically saying because like I'm a couple of weeks out um, or a couple of weeks ahead with my vlog filming that from now on the monthly roundups will be filmed slightly out of order but they will, I will always sort of like say you know how far out of order that they've been sort of filmed um, and they will always go up either the last Friday of a month or the first Friday of the following month depending on where it works best. Um, and when I've been able to film it and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, just, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> okay, so how was my May? Um, it was a month. <laughs> um, so there was kind of one opportunity to meet up with my friends during the month that fell through because it was still, it was like, it was the weekend right before inside meetups became a thing again um and it was raining and we all sort of decided that we didn't want like if we were going to meet up we needed to be able to do so where we weren't going to be like out in the rain so we were like okay we're going to postpone it that is now happening this weekend so it will happen before the end of the month um but hasn't happened before this video so yeah that's that's been something to definitely look forward to um and since meeting up inside is a thing again, um, and one of my mums has had both of her jabs, and my mother, my other mum has had her first one, um, I've seen them uh, during this month, and I, th I think I mentioned a little bit about it in the one that I filmed for next week, but I didn't like really go into too much detail about it. As I said, I think. I, I know the main thing I talk about in that one, but I can't remember all the other details. Um, so yeah, I I seen them. That was that was a really nice. Um, that was like a really nice afternoon. And as I said, it it makes life so much easier when you can meet people inside and you're not having to look for outside things um, to do. Uh, especially when, especially the last few weeks, the weather has been rainy a lot and very unpredictable and um, not cold, cold, but certainly chillier than you want it to be this time of year um so having the ability to meet up inside again it just makes life a lot easier um so as i said fingers crossed hopefully this weekend will be able to happen and there won't be anything to prevent it from happening which uh what i'm currently looking forward to so i will have seen my friends again before the end of the month um which is quite good i mean we still be doing our movie night so i've still been like hanging out with my friends once a week even though it's not been in person you know just like the video chat and, and watching film at the same time and we've, we've seen some really interesting films um a because our, our method for i don't know if i mentioned this but our method for selecting films is we've got a big long list um and we each pick two films from the big long list and then we roll a dice and then that film goes on to our main list of six. And then we roll the dice again in order to um, pick which film we're having. So because of that, like the film choices are very randomized each time. I mean, they're all on Disney Plus currently um, because we all have Disney Plus and all we have the, the DVDs for these films. Um, it just makes life a little bit easier. Um, it means that we can all basically watch the same version of the film um, so we can kind of get it pretty much in sync um, and there's a surprising variety of other other films on there not just Disney films so it's not just Disney films that we're watching um, and I think this month we've watched I know we've watched One Hour Photo I know we watched Spies in Disguise because that's what we just watched it's a surprisingly good film for what it is um, we also watched oh we also watched Muppet Treasure Island which was one of the films that's been on the short list the, the the main list from like the beginning and that finally came up and I think there's one more that we've seen or I don't know because I think it was one hour photo Muppet Treasure Island and then, oh, and we also watched Shallow Howl, that's the other one. 
yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a very like very um, watching experience that we kind of get, and, and like some of them are older films, some of them are newer films. Um, and it's like a really interesting way of sort of picking the film selection, and uh, every now and then we like throw new films onto our big list um, just so that we've got like a few more things to sort of pick from um, and that that basically gets decided like <laughs> basically um films get suggested and they'll either go onto the list or they won't go onto the list depending on um it, whether or not you know there's there's a majority uh interest in in them going on or if uh if they don't usually it'll go based on if there's a majority interest in it, in it going on but if the minority is like no i definitely don't want to see this film for x reason then it won't go on like we do respect each other's reasons if there's a particularly uh, if, there, if there's a particular reason for that that person not wanting to watch it, then it won't go onto the main list. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, it's been a very interesting bag of films that we've watched this month, um, and it's great that that's still like I've had more contact with my friends um, since like since the beginning of this year than I've had over the last few years. <laughs> being able to see them in person I mean I know last year not you know it's kind of right off but yeah it's nice being in like proper regular contact with my friends and sort of having a proper thing that we do every single week um although this weekend because our film night is Saturday and the Saturday is the day that we, we're all available to meet up if we are definitely going to meet up this weekend which I think we're like we're, we're definitely planning to we're either going to be meeting earlier in the day and then um, trying to all get home and sorted and everything in the evening um, for movie night or alternatively we're going to postpone the film for the following week and meet up later in the day and basically be like oh you know what we're not too worried we're going to watch the film the, the following week um, and we're going to you know enjoy spending time with each other uh, rather than you know having to watch a movie this particular week um, so either way I'm, I'm definitely hanging around out with my friends this weekend it's just might not be the movie night that we've been having which is not necessarily a bad thing if we're getting to see each other in person we're just not 100% sure what we're doing yet <laughs> um so yeah um yeah it's been a it's been a very interesting month um film watching wise um yeah yeah the world is slowly getting back to something a little bit more Stable. Um, my age group has finally been opened up for getting the COVID vaccine. I have booked mine. Um, um, the, the two friends that I do movie nights with, they've both had their first one as of me filming this. Um, by the time this one goes up, I'll have had my first one because my first one is next Monday and obviously this is going up next Friday. So not the yeah <laughs> i hope that makes sense um so yeah my mine is bank holiday monday um i'm looking forward to getting it done um it is a case of yeah i'm, I'm wanting it done for a while i've been just like waiting for my age group to open up um so that i can go ahead and yeah i'm not worried about getting it i'm not you know uh even if I get like side effects, I'm like, I'm not worried too much about that. I would just rather be in a better position um, than I currently am because I do work in a customer facing job. I am interacting with the general public on a daily basis, well, not daily basis, or, uh, on a regular basis. Um, and apparently a lot of our customers cannot wear masks and most of our drivers cannot wear masks. So, <laughs> um, even though I am wearing a mask, um, you know, I, I want to feel like I have a little bit more protection or at least be in a position where if I do get sick, I'm not going to get really badly sick with it. Um, because obviously, you know, that, that's important from my point of view because, um, as I mentioned before, you know, although my health issues aren't necessarily the kind that would get badly affected um, by, by getting it, it's not, you know, they, they don't necessarily put me in danger. Um, it's not going to make it any easier. It's, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't really want to get sick, to be honest. Um, 
having said that in um, some slightly weird kind of positive news, um, my rib information seems to have gone down. Now, I'm, I'm saying that as I have no proof <laughs> that, that that has actually happened, other than I've noticed there has been a difference um, in just how my ribs feel in general. I mean, yeah, they're not great. Yeah, they're still very much... Um, they're, 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 still, they're definitely not normal. Um, but in terms of, because I, I usually get this this tightness here, and I've noticed I've not been getting it as much. Not that I've not been getting it at all, just that I've not been getting it as much. Um, so there are a couple of possible reasons why that might be happening, and I don't know which one could possibly be the truth, because, like, looking things up, no, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Unless you kind of read it in a particular way. No, it doesn't really make any sense. Um, but I've made a few changes to my diet. Um, so I'm, I'm eating a little bit healthier. I'm eating less refined. I mean, I'm, I'm still having my, like, I'm still having treats. But I'm eating less refined sugar and more natural sugar. Um, yeah, I've... I've I'm trying to improve my diet as much as possible while still being fairly lazy about my diet. So it's still not, <laughs> there are still elements in my diet that are definitely not the healthiest. But I, it could be something in what I'm eating now has something in it which is anti-inflammatory, which is helping with um, reducing inflammation, which obviously would genuinely help overall. Um, I've also added some exercises into my daily fitness boxing uh, workout so before I do my workout I am doing um, like squats and crunches stomach crunches and, and stuff like that um, just because I want to build my muscles up a little bit more especially my abdominal muscles uh, because I do get a lot of lower back pain because I have weak as stomach muscles so I'm like well, you know what, I'm, I'm like fitter and healthier now. So, you know, if I, if I make some of these changes, especially that, that's kind of what made me make some of the dietary changes as well, was to help encourage muscle growth, because I know if I'm supporting my body correctly, a lot of the pain that I do experience will reduce. And as I said, my main target is my lower back pain, which I know is caused by the fact that my stomach muscles are incredibly lazy. Um... So, you know, uh, I, I've, I've added a lot of these things in, but some of the exercises that I'm doing also has the added benefit of stretching um, my abdomen. Um, and I have read that that can help with the pain from the rib inflammation is, is to do so. Like, it doesn't say specifically what stretches, but it does say that doing certain stretches that stretch the, the abdomen can help. So it could be that, um, like the like exercise in general isn't supposed to be good for it. <laughs> but in this particular case, I don't know. Um, it might just be like the way that I'm stretching. I'm, I'm stretching out the right things. Um, that is, that's kind of helping. It could be a combination of both those things. It could be something else entirely. It could just be, um, it could be a lot of things. All I know is that the the, the heavy tightness, the, the um, concerning tightness that I've been struggling with a lot over the last few years has started to ease. And there are some days where it, it's almost not there at all. Um, some days it, it niggles a little bit. Um, I, I'm still getting odd pains like in uh, the actual ribs. Um, but the the bit that that was kind of there, the bit that was kind of making my life very difficult and um, changed the way that I breathed and stuff like that, um, feels like it's easing off. Um, so I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing in the hopes that whatever it is that I'm doing is helping and it is having a genuine effect, whether it's 
something that I'm eating that has the right amount of anti-inflammatory in it for my body to actually respond to. Because I, I know my body doesn't respond to, I'm going to refer to it as being artificial anti-inflammatories. So like uh, painkillers and pain medication that are supposed to reduce inflammation. My body doesn't process that particularly well. But it could be that getting it from like a natural source, my body's able to break it down a little bit better and able to process it a little bit better. So it could be that. It could be that doing these new exercises are just stretching whatever it is that needs to be stretched and that's helping. And as I said, it could be a combination of the two things. So, and like oddly positive news for the month, um, my ribs are better. Not like good, but better. And considering what I've been living with for the last couple of years, better is good. Better is really good. <laughs> Just fingers crossed that this is part of a, a positive trend um, with my ribs and, and it will keep getting better from here because there are certain things that I want to be doing on a more regular basis that I can't currently do on a regular basis because of my ribs that might become possible if the inflammation in my rib cage is reduced long term or alternatively disappears finally after however many years it has been. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's everything that I want to say about May. As you can see, it's been a fairly good month. Um, I found definitely found things to talk about. Um, as I said, from now on, the monthly roundups will almost definitely be filmed out of order. Um, and I will always mention like where they fit in terms of the surrounding vlogs when they when they do appear, um, and they will always go up either the last Friday of the relevant month or the following or the first Friday of the following month, depending on when I've been able to film them. Um, because obviously a monthly roundup needs to be filmed near-ish the end of a month in order to make sense. Alright, okay, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it was I talked about last time. <laughs> or rather, whatever it was I talked about in the last vlog that I filmed and what I will be talking about in the following vlog. Um, what it, basically what didn't end up in this one, but it's kind of part of this month's roundup. So with that said, I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.